strong. Good morning, Booth Warriors. This is Hayden and Gage. Today is Thursday, April 28, 2022. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence while we reflect on today's activities and focus on demonstrating our best behavior. Please be seated. Warriors, some of you are not using your agenda when moving throughout the halls. Your agenda must be with you at all times, especially when you go to connections. A warrior is always responsible and respectful of the rules. We will be right back after these messages. In the morning from 8.23 to, uh, to 10.07, a warrior is always responsible and respectful of the rules. Please, through, uh, please move throughout the halls quietly. No devices, mouse on testing. No devices, mouse on testing. Watch phones, games, and noises. Don't be outside for consequences. 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 All students are invited to participate. Celebrate School Library Month with J.C. Booth's first bookmark design contest. All bookmarks must represent reading. Print a form online in the Media Center Schoology course or stop by the Media Center and pick up a form. All entries are due by Friday, April 29th. McIntosh High School Band is currently recruiting all 8th grade, eighth graders for next year's marching band. There are opportunities for students, and they do not have to currently play an instrument. Let's go to this video and see more about it. There will nope. be a Lady Warriors basketball meeting at 8 a.m. on Friday, 5-13-2022 in the gym after dismissal. This meeting is for any girls interested in playing basketball next year. Hey everyone, your handsome host Graham here. I have some bad news from Caleb Jaquation. I'm afraid for the calendar. It's days. They're numbered! Uh, 1,200 students, 700 yearbooks were pre-ordered. Only 140 remaining. Will you get one? Don't miss out. Hurry up to order. Buy your yearbook at www.jawsonsyearbook.com. The final chance to order your yearbook is Friday, May 13th. Action checks uh, can be made playable at the J.C. Booth yearbook and uh, turned into the front office or, uh, or to Miss Harrison in room uh, 703. Don't forget, a warrior is always uh, responsible, respectful, and ready to learn. And now for the character lesson. Good morning, Booth Warriors. This is Sophia and Kyron with a few words of wisdom. From the time he was a young boy, American politician Henry Cisneros knew he wanted to serve his country. He studied hard and graduated from high school at the age of 16. Now listen to what Dr. Cisneros says about success. You must be directed to work single-minded and be productive, but you don't 
don't mind because you are fulfilled and productive. Have you ever noticed how good it feels to get the job done, to complete a task, to produce something on your own? Learning to become a productive member of society is an important part of becoming a successful, fulfilled human being. Today, Dr. Cineros, and today remember Dr. Cineros and notice how you feel when you are being productive. With something to think about, this is Kyron and Sophia. Make, Make it a great day or not, the choice is always yours. Good morning. This is Landon bringing you the weather for Thursday, April 28th, 2022. The high for today will be 79 degrees and a low of 53 degrees with a 0% chance of rain. There will be recess today. Tomorrow, there will be a high of 80 degrees and a low of 58 degrees with a 0% chance of rain. Have a great day, Warriors! Good morning, Booth Warriors. This is Kaysen with the lunch choices for Thursday, April 28th. Your choice of entrees are a hamburger sandwich on whole grain bun, hot dog sliders on a whole grain bun, or a jammer pack. Your choice of sides are baked waffle fries, creamy coleslaw, baked beans, cinnamon applesauce cup, or fresh tomato and shredded lettuce. As always, there will be a choice of milk. Have a great day, Warriors. That's, that's what I'm saying, bro, you know? Always remember to be respectful of your environment. The earth is your friend. Students and teachers, poems for Poem in a Pocket may be read today, April the 25th, through Friday, April the 29th. How does Poem in a Pocket work? The poem from the bulletin board in the media center. Read your poem to a staff member at school. Put your name on the back of the poem. Date the poem and have the staff member sign the back of the poem. Bring the signed poem to the media center during homeroom or literacy to receive candy. Students may only read one poem per day, and students who wish to read more than one poem may not read the same poem. So, how do you feel about being Tucker's mom while you teach? Most of the time, it's really good. I enjoy seeing him um, every day and seeing him in the hallway every once in a while. Uh, some days it's not so good though. Yeah. Tucker, how, how do you feel about your mom being a teacher? It's kind of weird. I mean, when you see a mom in the hallway, there's really nothing you can do. You can't really run off because the teacher. Yeah. So. Um, kind of difficult. What What would you, Tucker? What would you do if your dad was also a teacher here? Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> I, I think he would quit. I think he would ask for a transfer. I would. He couldn't handle both of us at the same time. Yeah. All right. Thank you for your time.